Yo, it's L. Warning. The following video was filmed as an experiment. The test subject, Phil, was given THC capsules. When under the full effects of the capsules, the test subject was forced to watch the ending of Metal Gear Solid 4. The experiment is to see what happens when an unsober mind is exposed to Metal Gear Solid. Hey guys, so today's video is a bit different than the rest of my content. You see my friend Phil, he's never played Metal Gear Solid before, so we're gonna show him a cutscene from the game, see if that convinces him or not to play them. Now, we are gonna be watching the final cutscene to Metal Gear Solid 4. For those of you who don't know, Metal Gear Solid 4 is the last game chronologically, like in the Metal Gear timeline, it's the last game, and this is being filmed in Canada. I only say that because Green Leaf products are not only legal in Canada, but they are enforced upon the population by the government. The only way I was allowed into Canada to film this was if we were under the effects of said products. So I hope you guys enjoy watching this video as much as we enjoyed filming it for you. The following interview was filmed prior to the test subject taking the capsules. Alright. Okay, so remember, you're free to leave at any time. Okay. Um, so in your words, what do you think the Metal Gear Solid video game series is about? What is, what's it about? Like, uh... <laughs> yeah, like, what do you think through the course of the games happens? I mean, I don't know much. I know it's called Metal Gear, so I'm assuming there is a Metal Gear. Actually, I've seen... I, well, there's this Metal Gear board game that came out, and I know that one of the minis is the Metal Gear. So I do know, I do know a little bit about that. It's kind of like this mech thing. I'm assuming it's a big deal, like some kind of weapon or something like that. If I had to hazard a guess, you're trying to you're trying to stop it, like some James Bond esque thing where you have to go in there and shut down the Metal Gear. I'm assuming that the whole series revolves around that. Maybe the first game, like maybe you do it. The second game, it comes back. Maybe you know the third game, maybe it's like Metal Gear adjacent, so maybe they don't talk about the Metal Gear itself, but the villains are back. Something something like that. But I assume. It, you know, the game revolves around that. What do you know about Metal Gear? What do I know about Metal Gear? Like, in terms of the characters and things like that? I know, okay, I know a little bit, okay, from memes and stuff. And obviously I've heard conversations with you and some of our other other friends. So I know a little bit. I know that like, the main character is called Snake, right? But I know there's, like, <laughs> there's like multiple ones. Some, like, Solid Snake and, and, like, Liquid Snake. There's, like, a whole bunch of these different snakes, and I think from what I can recall from some of the conversations that you've had, I've overheard, he's also Big Boss, or Big Boss might be someone else, and there's a bunch of cloning involved. I know there's, I know there's a few other characters, like I know Revolver Ocelot, I just know that because the name sounded so weird to me. Uh, I know Psycho Mantis, that's one, right? Psycho Mantis, I just because, you know, the famously with the boss thing, the switching the controllers, all that kind of stuff. So I do know that. I think there's one guy called Raiden, but that might be Mortal Kombat. There's, uh, it has a sword. There's a game called Revengeance, which I always thought was like the coolest name ever. Everyone's like, for sequels, Electric Boogaloo. But my favorite's always been Revengeance. The Revengeance. It's always sounded good to me. I don't know what the game's about. I think it is more of like a hack and slash, and some fans hate it because it's not exactly quite a Metal Gear game. I could be completely off on that, but from the top of my head, that seems to be what I remember about the game. There's also a guy, I think, who's one of the bosses who's old, and if you wait, he dies. I I think I heard that somewhere. I could That could be me pulling that off the top of my head, but I think I heard that somewhere. So that's what I know about Metal Gear. Well, I was going to show you some pictures. I, you already said you know who that is. I think that's Psycho Mantis. That's right. That, that I believe that is. That's the guy where like he he looks into your memory card. He's like, I know you like Castlevania, and he's like freaks you out when you're a kid. <laughs> I guess. So yeah, that one I know. That one I do know. Yeah. And what about him? 
If you had to guess the <laughs> name, what would you name him? Red Hand Greed Shirt Man? <laughs> uh, if you were to fight him, what do you think he does in a fight? What does he do in the fight? I honestly... Babe... Maybe he throws grenades at you or something. Honestly, I don't know. Just because of the green shirt. He's got them red hands, too. So, those are gloves. They might not be gloves. The game could be just so wacky that those are his hands. And that's why he wants revenge against the world. Because of his messed up hands. Honestly, I don't know. He's clearly in the military of some kind. He's got the military garb and the gold buttons and things. Huh. But, you know. What country do you think he works for? What <laughs> country does he work for? <laughs> He looks German <laughs> to me. You know, that could just be some stereotypes, but he does have the blonde hair. I think, was that a cigarette in his mouth? No, that's just his messed up mouth. Yeah, he's got like scars all over his face. Yeah, he does. He's scar face. That's pretty much. He's got matching boots, though. He's got style. So he's a German scar face. He's German scar face. Scars in face. Who would you say? That oh, my is? God. <laughs> Whoever he is. I think he's. um. Well, he's got a suit on. He's got a nice business suit on and a good tie. And he's pointing at me menacingly. I'm assuming, you know who this guy is? Whatever organization we work for, you think he's a good guy, but at the end, he turns out to be a bad guy. You're actually close. He's actually from the manga prison school. Oh. <laughs> he's the chairman. Okay, he's the chairman. That's good. Does he betray you in the end or? Uh... No. Okay. I don't... I'm like halfway through this manga. Oh, okay, that's good. Yeah, I'm throwing curveballs in here. I love it. Perfect. So who do you think that oh, is? Oh, God. that's uh, Well, he's got a sword. I'm going to go with Raiden. Hmm. I might be Raiden. I think Raiden had like spiky anime hair, though. This guy's got like a mask on. But he's a ninja of some kind. Hmm. I'm assuming he's, again, they do this trope all the time. I'm assuming like he's a bad, he was a bad guy, but everyone loved him so much that they put him into the main story. He's like, he turned into a good guy now. And then you could play as him. That's, if I had to hazard a guess just from character side alone, that's what I would say this person is. Yeah. Metal Gear Solid 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I will say chronologically that it is out of order. Oh, God. Okay, yeah. If you had to guess, what would the chronological order be? If I had to guess? Okay, so I know, again, I know a little bit. So I think Metal Gear Solid 4 is technically... I think it's technically the start. Again, I could be completely off on that. Again, because I don't know much. But from what I remember people talking about, I think that might be the start. Because it's like... Something like that. I don't know. I think it goes 4... 1... 2... 3... And that's all, right? <laughs> that, you said there's four? Five. There's five. Okay, then five. No, five. So five is the last one made, I think, is the first one. So I think it goes five. And then I can't remember the other ones. I, I said I honestly. <laughs> honestly, I think five. Just push five to the beginning of everything I said before. Lastly. Okay. How many snakes can you name? How many snakes can I name? <laughs> Well, you got a garden snake, you got a <laughs> rattlesnake, or do you mean like liquid, the, the, metal, gear snake, the metal gear yeah. snakes, oh god, I know liquid and solid, and then I know there's a solid disc, and I think you're trying to trick me, and I think Big Boss is a snake, I think I remember <laughs> that, so technically, because there's cloning involved, like people have to remember there's cloning involved. <laughs> Lastly, okay. if I was to say, a weapon to surpass Metal Gear, who or what do you think I'm talking about? A weapon to surpass Metal Gear. Ah. Snake. <laughs> it turns into the ultimate weapon. <laughs> he goes like primal instinct snake at the end. Gets green hair. You know, powers up. He's been powering up for five games. And at the end, that's where he is. The ultimate weapon. <laughs> <laughs> the following was filmed. When the capsules were in full effect. All you need to know going okay. in mm. is that we start with Old Snake. So that's Old Snake. Who is Solid Snake. No, oh God, it's starting. When he gets old. <laughs> He's... <laughs> old Snake is... <laughs> Solid <laughs> Okay. He's just... Yeah, <laughs> yeah okay, that's fair. Yeah, why not? 
<laughs> it's not. Is it beginning? <laughs> oh, yeah, so. oh, it's just dark for a very long time. <laughs> oh, there's a man breathing. Okay. Where is he? Good. No need for you to go just yet. It's been a long time. Who the? Uh oh. Who's this? Oh, no, but I thought that guy was from that manga and he wasn't part of the game. Prison! Is it prison? Prison school. Prison school. Oh, it's a crossover. Oh, wait, no, it's, it's, it's him, isn't it? <laughs> wait, he's. Saw old Snake. We came old Snake and then saw a big boss, which is him. Yeah, Big Boss was Naked Snake. Big Boss was Naked. <laughs> There's a naked one. He was Naked Snake, then he killed the boss, <laughs> then he became Big, Big boss. boss. Well, that guy's face is all messed up, so that must have happened after. This is also on PS3. This is... Yeah. What's this version? PS4? No, no. just PS3. Oh. <laughs> so the game that's on the PS3 was also on the PS3. <laughs> put it down. I feel like you put it down twice. Oh, what? Let it go, my son. I'm not here to oh, fight. It's... What? Or should I call you? <laughs> Wait! <laughs> He's a brother's son! Please shoot him. <laughs> that would just make the most sense so far. Body, liquid burned on the Volta. What? <laughs> Liquid burn on the Volta. Liquid Ocelot burned Big Boss's <laughs> clone's body solidus to make everyone think that that was Big Boss. So, <laughs> so solid is Israel. Wait, he was a perfect clone. Wait, what is happening? I knew clones, I knew that. Solidus? I thought the Solidus was. Like solid ist, like the most solid. <laughs> well, you can't laugh at that. There's a solid snake. Yeah. So I no. thought he was more solid. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Like I'm not being ridiculous. No. It's the game that's being ridiculous. <laughs> okay. All right. Another <laughs> football team? <laughs> we will destroy the Patriots. <laughs> Right before you upload your virus into GW, the way to JD is open. JD and GWs. They're proxy AI. <laughs> they're, so they're fake AIs? Zero. Zero. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean zero? What does that mean? For Naomi, who's that? <laughs> zero was a guy. Who made the system that became the proxy AIs? <laughs> it evolved? It poke evolved into proxy AIs? Oh, yeah. Ava stole my body from them. <laughs> the liquid became a solid. He froze it! Okay. <laughs> what? He put liquid snakes. Liqu arm onto him. I don't think, I think you're lying to me now, because it said something about consciousness and state of beings and stuff. It all started with him. Zero. <laughs> Who are you? Oh, it's zero. From zero to hero. They're gonna love this part. <laughs> Corporation for profits. Yes. And research institutions that comprise the military industrial complex were part of it too. Okay, yeah. Operating on budgets automatically aligned to them by the proxies. By proxies. AI proxies. Oh, yeah. By the Patriots. I can't tell if the Patriots are good and he's happy about this. Of the same oppressively uniform system. Oh, wait. <laughs> Zero made the Patriots who made the AI. Oh, do we like the Patriots? Not his Patriots. Oh, sorry. Okay. But the original Patriots. Oh, 
Yeah, I get what you're saying. If Big Boss was part of the Patriots and then he left. Well, naturally. If Big Boss is talking right now. Yes. Okay. I missed, like, everything he was saying when he's talking. Whoa. There was only the war economy. It was a colossal error in judgment. One zero couldn't possibly... It's M. That was the boss. That was the final boss? Did no, I win? the boss. Oh, the, the big boss. boss killed to become big boss. Big boss. <laughs> this is just, you know what I mean? <laughs> what is any of this? <laughs> I'm the boss. Oh, he's killed by the other man. Now he's called the big boss. He's not called the boss, even though I am dead. Is that what you're telling me? <laughs> yes. Everything has its beginning, but it doesn't start at one. It at zero? Starts at zero! Oh, this is his name! He's gonna say it! He's gonna say it. World is born from zero. Yeah! One becomes two. Two becomes ten. Ten becomes one. A hundred. Skipped a couple numbers. <laughs> Taking it all back to one solves nothing. Just sh- so you can shoot the guy, hurt you just shoot him. <laughs> one will eventually grow to one hundred again. This guy's speaking biblically, man. He's repeating the same thing like six <laughs> times. He's got to say it every other different way he can. I guess just, there's no misinterpretation here. I will say it every way so, you can think of. Oh. <laughs> yeah. To a hundred, okay. <laughs> you can. The number metaphors, where it thin. To one. <laughs> Think about that. True. I shall make the void empty space. <laughs> he is really, really shaking. I don't I think he was faking it. I don't think he needed that chair if he moved that much. <laughs> I'm just... No one else is going to say it. I'm going to say it. Who went from zero to a hundred down to nothing? <laughs> <laughs> He'll be okay. Yeah, he's fine. So Solid Snake was injected with Fox dye, oh. which was meant to be a genetic disease to kill Big Boss. Oh. But it also aged Snake at an accelerated rate. Oh. Okay. <laughs> So, okay. <laughs> He's fine. The fox eye is also what killed Liquid Snake. It's killing all the snakes, fox eye. Naomi? The boss. The boss? Oh, the boss is a lady. Oh, yeah. A new fox eye is uprooting the old. Oh, oh. Like an oil change. Oh, yeah. Okay, gonna die or like he's got no he's got two more monologues before he dies. <laughs> well he's died twice before. It's true. And that was a flashback to Metal Gear Solid 3. Oh I see, okay. Alright. He was doing the same thing, saluting the boss. When he became big boss. Okay, big boss. You can't just be the boss, you gotta be the big boss. <laughs> I thought he's gonna start moving again. <laughs> oh, Snake Eater's a thing, right? That's uh, Metal Gear Solid Three, Snake Eater. Oh, it's the name of a, of a game. Okay. Oh, yeah. Don't shake his hand. There's poison or fox dye on it. <clears throat> oh no, he fell again. We get it. You're dying. <laughs> Oh, no, he's still going. He's still going. Even death can't kill him that easily. No, it's true. Death is tried. Twice? He <laughs> said? So this is the second time. Third time he's been alive. <laughs> Technically the third time he's died. So, no, this is the th- he's currently dying the third time. So he's been alive three times and died three times. The balance has been restored. The Metal Gear can ascend into heaven. <laughs> 
Outer heaven. <laughs> outer heaven. There's inner heaven, outer heaven. <laughs> and there's outer, outer heaven, but that's like an exclusive club. You don't even get to know about that until you're in the first layer of heaven. And there's outer haven. <laughs> outer haven. Yeah. There's like one of those IP disputes where they figured they just change it just enough. Stop fighting, soldier. Oh, how more pathetic is this guy going to get? Oh. He's like really dead now. He's not going to keep going. Oh, no, he... He's got the high Oh, yeah! <laughs> He's still going! <laughs> Holy crap! <laughs> Without snakes. Because the world with snakes would be called Snake World. <laughs> Just say it. Metal Gear Solid Snake World. Metal Gear Solid 7 Snake World. <laughs> Snake, you have to infiltrate Snake Planet. It was a planet entirely made of snake DNA. Plasma Snake is bad. <laughs> Plasma Snake. This time he's a proxy AI clone <laughs> shadow phantom <laughs> of Plasma this Snake. <laughs> the Plasma this Snake. No, Plasma Dust. It's not is. <laughs> Fully dressed Snake. Fully dressed Snake. Where's yeah? Where's gentlemanly Snake? <laughs> is he still going? <laughs> no, he's not! He's still going! <laughs> oh my god, die! It's not good, die! <laughs> okay! It's time to go! He's not dead, I don't believe it! I don't believe he's dead! <laughs> Holy crap! It, it fell the second time! He can still keep going. He just starts coughing. Yeah, it's right. Metal Gear Solid 4. Guns of the Patriots. The Patriots. Oh no, okay. I forgot these. What are they? <laughs> okay. No thanks. Oh, okay, good. Quitting. Whew. Snake. Snake. Kill ya. <laughs> Where will you go? Our fight is finished. There's nothing left for us to do. The other guy talking is Otacon. <laughs> No, he's not. Autocon? Autocon. This is not the Transformers. What do you mean? <laughs> I am Autocon. <laughs> Optimus, you will die. <laughs> I don't know why. Hey, he's a bad guy. Screw it. Snake. <laughs> he run out of budget? Like, why is this a black screen for so long? Yeah. Oh, these are like... Someone on the outside to bear witness to Days. So like post credit scenes. Yeah, but they couldn't like animate this or something. Not that I'm the only. So <laughs> okay, wait. Is there... <laughs> no, so we also skipped about forty five minutes. What do you mean you skipped forty five minutes of what? Of him talking about numbers from zero to one hundred? And the ending nothing. cinematic is overall about an hour and fifteen minutes. Okay, so that was just the last half hour. That was oh good. So you didn't. You're a good friend because you didn't subject me to the whole thing. <laughs> So do you think you understand Metal Gear more or less now? Uh, more in some ways, less in others. Uh, not at all. <laughs> Probably if I'm being truthful. Before I thought, you know, Metal Gear. It's got metal, it's got gears. It's some kind of object or non-object that you could talk about in a conversation. <laughs> Which is a little... Now I know less than that. <laughs> Does that make sense? So, in a quick summary... <laughs> okay. It all started in the 50s. It may have been the 60s. I don't really remember. We'll say the 60s. I could be wrong. One of the Ds. Later in the editing, I'll be like, hey, Metal Gear Solid started in the... 60s. So. Okay. In the... 60s. Is when Metal Gear Solid 3 first took place. Mm -hmm. So, Naked Snake was sent to kill the boss. Then he becomes... Big Boss, but then he doesn't like that name, and then he takes that name, and then his organization gets blown up, and then he awakes from a coma later to find out that he's not Big Boss, he's not Naked Snake, he's Venom Snake, <laughs> who is Big Boss's medic. Wait, who's Venom? <laughs> okay, wait. So he thinks he's liquid... No, he thinks he's Big Boss. He thinks he's Big Boss. 
But he's not Big Boss. He's his Phantom. He's his Phantom. Hence the Phantom Menace. <laughs> he brought it all back. <laughs> Remember that? <laughs> disappointment from your childhood that's actually better than the new disappointment? I do. I wrote a book about it. <laughs> yeah, you did. It was disappointing. <laughs> The Phantom Menace, the Menace of the Phantom. The Phantom Menace pain for Darth Maul. Confronts <laughs> <laughs> Liquid Star Snake, Wars. but Darth Maul gets the fox die, <laughs> and he rolls a natural twenty. <laughs> <laughs> and that twenty in a fox die. It's a one in twenty chance. <laughs> so Thank then, you, obvious math man. <laughs> I would the great four. And then. That yeah. happens. Yeah. <laughs> and then, let yeah. me know if at any point this sounds a bit crazy. Okay. So I, Stop, you know, it's crazy. <laughs> so, Venom Snake is Big Boss's proxy. But a proxy is an AI. Not yet. Not, okay. So then, <laughs> Big Boss later helps Solid Snake okay. to kill Big Boss, mm -hmm. who's actually Venom Snake. Yes, but he thinks he's Big Boss. Yes. But he's not real Big Boss. And then later, Snake kills Big Boss. <laughs> real Big Boss. Yes. And then he kills Liquid Snake. And then he kills... Snake kills... Solidist Snake. Sol Solidist or Solidus? Solidus. So Solidus was a snake. Yes. He was Big Boss's clone, but he wasn't a child like Liquid and Solid were. I... They're brothers, but they're also clones of Big Boss. Ava who we met in Metal Gear Solid 3, was their mom. And then the boss was also the mom to Ocelot. The clone's mom? Yes. What? <laughs> the clone. No, I'm confused. No. Who, why are we talking about moms? <laughs> so the boss is Ocelot's mom. Is the boss Big Boss's mom? In a way? His, in a way, <laughs> his proxy mom. I think I'm not understanding, but okay. Let's just... I don't feel like you can't understand. So then, I don't feel like the writers understood. I feel like they just sort of typed things out and said, it's it's good enough. Let's just get out of here, guys. <laughs> like, you really, Jacob, I know your life is hell at home. I know you don't want to go back. But, bro, honestly, at this point, wouldn't you rather that than type out this story about snakes and clones and mothers of snakes who are bosses? <laughs> But not as big as their sons, because they gotta be big bosses, and they're gonna kill you. <laughs> <That's>... <laughs> so, Frank Yeager, who's a great fox, who was Naomi's adoptive <laughs> brother, <laughs> cut off Ocelot's hand, who then later he replaced it with... Oh, wait, are they red gloves? Did he, get rid of Did he replace them with red gloves? No. Oh. That was Vulcan from oh. Metal Gear Solid 3, okay. who was trying to take Fine. the philosopher's legacy... Okay, right, yes. That's his legacy. The philosopher's legacy of his own yes. legacy. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so for the what Metal else? Gear, we had the Shaggle Hod. <laughs> oh, no, no, we did not. The Shaggle Hod? Shaggle Hod. No. It's Russian. Shaggle Hod? Shaggle This is Dr. Seuss. S-H-A-G-O. Hod. H-O-D. Hod. Shaggle hot. Welcome to the Zoobly Zoo, where all you do and all you go. Today we have a Shabble hod. Isn't that very quite odd? Like, it's not real. That's not real. It's not part of anything. I feel so gaslit right now. Like, in the comments, is this real or is he just, did he just make this up? Shaggle hot. Shaggle hot. Is it not quite odd? That was like. The proto metal metal gear. <laughs> oh, 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 sorry. See, there's different metal gear. Sorry, there's to metal disrespect. gear Rex, okay. Metal Gear Ray. Right. There's Sahelanthropus. <laughs> we can talk about Sahelanthropus. <laughs> it's actually the first okay. known reptile to walk upright. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. then they named the Metal Gear prototype after it. Okay, cool. But see, this was in Africa in the 80s. Okay. The 80s, another D's. So. Do you remember Foxhound? <laughs> it's not Fox Die. No, well, there's Fox. Okay. So Fox back towards his XOF. So there's a guy named Skullface. Skull. Who has a skull oh, for, for a face. face. So yeah. he worked for yeah, XOF. Yeah, very creative. 
Ox of XOF, all right. Which is like the shadow Fox of back. Fox. So yes, of course, because it's the mirror image of Fox. So they're the ones who blew up Big Boss's base in the eighties. Yes, I'm crying. <laughs> Literally crying because <laughs> I'm funny. This shit is like I'm sorry. Like if you're a really big Metal Gear fan and this is all like gospel to you and sacred, you know, if you're just like prostrate before the TV right now, bowing over the sacred text. But like, it's that just look at it. a bit silly, in it. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> this next thing might put you over the edge. I I am. I am flying! What do you mean over the edge? So, there's a character <laughs> named Hot... Hot Mama? Cold Man. <laughs> no! No! <laughs> what do you mean he's named Hot Cold Man? <laughs> That's not possible. He's the one who convinced Paz to take over the Peace Walk. Who's Paz?! She's like a South American girl. Pat, big boss you're not going to tell me about Zap backwards and she's the shadow image of Zap. No. Pass. But she dies. Good, of course. She gets blown up by an internal bomb. Not a Husselhod? No. Skullface get... blew her up. Skullface of the Husselhod fame? <laughs> now, I forgot where he's from. He forgets where he's from. Oh, that's convenient. See, because he thinks... Mm. That the worst, like, virus on Earth... Is man. ...is not bacterial, it's not man, oh, okay. it's linguistics. Oh, okay, alright. It feels that, what, cultures evolved through their languages, and that you could propagate ideas that way? Yeah, mimetics. There you go, cool. So this was the 80s. Yes, it's true. It was all the rage in the 80s, the mimetics. <laughs> but then they moved on, they took the panels off the cars... Which I think was a 70s thing anyway. Why are the wood panels still on there? <laughs> so Raiden. No, oh, Raiden! Wait, yes. did I get... I got, sorry, I got Raiden right. Yes. He's a character. I'm not He's crazy. from Metal Gear Solid 2. He was a snake. They called him Snake once. One, oh, he was I'm part back of... in college. <laughs> I may have partaken in being <laughs> called Snake. It doesn't reflect who I am now. I was a much different time. Very experimental. <laughs> Why did they take the snake away from him? You see, Ocelot was working with the Patriots. <laughs> okay. So they were trying to recreate okay. what happened on Shadow Moses Island mm. only at the Big Shell, which mm. turned out to house JW, one of the proxy AIs. JW or... JD. And then G there's GW. G -D -G -G -D. They're the proxy AIs. God damn. GD. <laughs> There's a, J, there's a JD and a GW. Whoosh. <laughs> when Liquid Snake was a kid, him and Psycho Mantis stole Psychilanthropus. When Liquid Snake was a child, him and his future enemy, Psychotic Manta Ray, <laughs> stole the, the cephalopod? Psychilanthropus. <laughs> stole philanthropy forever from the world? No rich person will ever give again. <laughs> so in case that ever comes up. Oh, it will often. <laughs> Miller. Miller. You see, he was angry at Ocelot and Big Boss for making him <laughs> think that he was building a new organization with Big Boss, but it turned out to be Venom Snake. So he told Ocelot... Stop, 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 stop. What are you getting? <laughs> Ocelot <laughs> uniform. No, Ocelot is mad at Big Boss because Big Boss he made him think he was making an organization. <laughs> but he's not making an organization that made one man Venom Snake. Is that what you're telling me? No, that was Miller who was mad at Big Boss. <laughs> but he still made one man. Ocelot was in it, yeah. Okay. So Miller thought that fa the that uh, Venom Snake was oh, Big no. Boss, yeah. but he wasn't. No, he wasn't. And no one told Miller until later. So then see, Miller <laughs> trained Solid Snake. Okay. And then Miller was killed by Liquid Snake. And okay. then Liquid Snake impersonated him. That's terrible of him to do that. Okay. <laughs> so I think we covered everything. Okay, that's good. All right. This is great. This is fantastic. <laughs> 
you know what I mean? I feel like somehow I got on the wrong plane. <laughs> they like <laughs> landed at like a convention for like <laughs> astrophysicists. And then I just like sat in the back room with the name tag they gave me. Because the guy, you know, they got it mixed up. And they're just like talking all this stuff. And I'm like, I'm sure you're right. Because I don't care enough to know. But, uh, <laughs> you know. I don't know what you're saying. So Solidus Snake. <laughs> okay. He actually had child soldiers, and one of them oh, grew up to no. be Raiden. Oh, Raiden. but he, but no. So okay. This was in Africa. Okay, he's a child soldier from Africa that everyone thought might have been Snake because he called himself Snake that one time, and he was raised by <laughs> cobras. Oh, the cobra unit. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, right. That was. Fox, Fox Trot. No, Fox Die becomes Foxhound. So Foxhound <laughs> was what Major Zero and Naked Snake formed when they did Operation Snake Eater. Okay, or which is the name of that game. Oh, yeah. Okay, so that's Operation Snake Eater. And then Fox Die was a virus created by the Patriots and Naomi to kill Big Boss, Liquid Snake, and Solid Snake. Okay. And then... Fox die is a poison that's replaced by another fox die that may have been... It's like a genetic... A, it's a genetic poison. Weapon? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. it's like, yeah. Yeah. They kill snakes, specifically. <laughs> well, yeah, just Big Boss and yeah, his clones. That's it. The thing I know about poison, deadly accurate. Pinpoint <laughs> precision when it comes to poison. Now no one else will die from this stuff. <laughs> no, no one else will die. It's fine. <laughs> So the only other thing, real quick, I just want to read out to you the games in chronological order. Okay. And if you want, just give a, a quick summary of what you think happens. Okay, in chronological order. Yes. Okay, so for sure, beginning five parts. Yeah. Five parts, okay. So 1964, Metal Gear Solid 3 Snake Eater happens. If you want, give the people at home a quick summary of what happens in that game. <laughs> what happens in that game specifically? Yeah. This is four, right? Three. This is three. Okay, so in three, at the beginning of it all, <laughs> Snake and a guy named Ocelot, <laughs> they want to and don't want to start an organization that will one day become a thing <laughs> that poisons them. You are, like, loosely <laughs> on point. Okay. Which is insane. <laughs> okay, all right. So then in 1970, Portable Ops takes mm -hmm. place. The portable Ops? Okay. Whoa, okay. Wait, what, what happens in Portable Ops? I'm assuming it's, like, a mobile game, so not much. Snake moves from one hallway to the other while avoiding spike traps, getting a high score. <laughs> That's what happens in that game. <laughs> That's what happens, really. <laughs> in terms of a plot, that organization is starting to be organized, and then something happens where maybe it's not, and then by the end of the game, they're like, it's still not. Because <laughs> that's how that's going to go. I'm crying again. <laughs> See? And then four years later, Metal Gear Solid Peace Walker takes place. And this is number what, four? No, this one isn't a, a, like a... Oh, it's just a thing. It's just one. called Peace Walker. Yeah. Uh, organization clones the founder of the organization, <laughs> Big Boss, to form <laughs> Wiggly Snake. <laughs> Wiggly Snake and Rigid Snake. <laughs> then one who thinks he's Rigid Snake, but not. And they all go off into the four corners of the world. <laughs> they start their cultures... <laughs> Hot Coldman is in this game. <laughs> oh god! Oh god! I was waiting with bated breath for the return of my beloved Hot Cold One. <laughs> oh, happy day! Hot Cold One has returned to me. <laughs> to give you a quick idea of Coldman. Oh, Coldman, sir! Hot Coldman. Hot Coldman. <laughs> he believes nuclear deterrence is a flawed theory. Claiming humans yeah, won't okay, retaliate yeah, during a nuclear yes. strike no, due to lie. fear of destroying themselves. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right. And then the next year, <laughs> Metal Gear Solid Ground Zeroes <laughs> takes place. Is this the fourth one? 
Sort of. It's the demo. Oh, it's the, the demo. It's the demo that actually takes place. Wait, no, it's because chronologically it happens. Okay, so this is the one I know that I think I know the demo because I think I've seen you play it. Is it the one where you sneak on the base and try to do the cool stuff? Yeah. That's the story. Snake sneaks on the base, does cool stuff. I think you get a document at one point, but that could be cool to die. <laughs> Obviously. And then nine years later, Metal Gear Solid V, The Phantom Pain takes the place. Phantom Pain, and that's what we saw. No. <laughs> Stop it. What do you mean? We oh, saw Metal Gear Solid IV. <laughs> but we saw we're about 30 years too early. <laughs> okay. So we're talking about 30 years before that cinematic. Like, okay. Oh, 30 years before that cinematic. Snake gets a tan. I think he lost his eye in the meantime. I think he might have done that. I think he, like, thought a lot about the meaning of existence. And whether or not he's the clone, because he's been engaged with cloning for so long, he can't tell who's real. I think he did. Probably ate a lot of soup. I think soup was back at the time. Soup came back. It went away for a while. People don't know that. Soup went away. And just one day, people are like, where's soup? It came back. <laughs> That's what happened. <laughs> so eleven years after Soup came back, okay. the original Metal Gear came out. You know this one from like the AVGN episode. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. That yeah. was a game. That was in a jungle. I think at least the first level there was greenery, which would be grass. <laughs> and I think there's a tree. So it's probably a jungle. So I'm assuming that like you know snakes there. Probably at this point he's solid, not the biggest boss of them all, but the solid one. He goes in there because he heard they got pretty sweet Metal Gear this year, you know. And he's been looking to upgrade from his shitty cloth armor, you know. He's the moving up there. <laughs> Shagalhod. Got from Shagalhod the armor elf on the outskirts of town. <laughs> you know, and then after that, Snake probably saw the Metal Gear, decided he's actually a pretty cool guy, and they both got cake. And that's what happened to that game. Oh, the fox die is mentioned for the first time. Let's go with that. You got to start introducing it at some point, right? And then 1999 Solid Snake takes place. I don't know if that game's canon. Okay. But if it was, what would happen? Uh, in the non-canon game, what would happen? Well, he would go to space first off. And he wouldn't stop there. Because there would be a space beyond space that was created by an AI that technically he had a hand in creating, but not really him, it was his clone. But technically, he created the clone, which created the AI, which ended the world. <laughs> and then they only cake. <laughs> now, the third last game, Metal Gear Solid 1. <laughs> oh, wait, okay, Metal Gear Solid 1. Wait, what systems is this on? 2005? PS1. This is on the PlayStation 1. Well, this is just like in their timeline, oh, the, not yeah, the when they came out. Okay, fair enough. Okay. <laughs> so, okay, that one, if it's the one I'm thinking of, this time he goes into a warehouse. And since I gotta start introducing stuff I remember from the story, maybe it's the first time. Does he kill Big Boss? <laughs> Does he think he killed King Big Boss? That was about Venom? 10 years ago in Metal Gear. Oh, okay, so I'm close to the time when Venom Boss is Big Boss, but not really Big Boss, so Big Boss has liquid kill Big Boss. <laughs> Some combination of that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. That's called Hill Willy Rap. <laughs> big boy, big balls. <laughs> <laughs> and then in 2007 slash 2009, Metal Gear Solid 2, Sons of Liberty. Oh. Okay. I will say in this game we have Iroquois Pliskin. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> wait, Pliskin? Like actually Pliskin? Iroquois, Iroquois Pliskin. Wouldn't... That's just... Well, isn't this guy's name in like Escape from New York? Isn't he like Snake Pliskin? Yeah. <laughs> so, Solid Snake in this game goes by Iroquois Pliskin. Iroquois, I'm Iroquois Jones. I'm Iowa Jackson. We're just saying stuff now. That's okay. <laughs> Raiden's in this game. <laughs> do you want me to do the rating? Oh, no, I say Raiden. The game. Oh, Raiden. Right. What would you rate Metal Gear Solid 2? Out of 10 snakes. <laughs> 10 snakes. <laughs> Yeah, I can give it a solid one. <laughs> like a solid thick one that covers the rest of the meter. 
It's ten wide, but only one tall. <laughs> exactly. You know, people never get into the dimensional math of scoring systems, and it makes me angry. <laughs> I give them one cubic feet out of a possible one hundred and eighty. Non cubic feet. Non cubic feet. And then lastly, <laughs> no, 2014, <laughs> Metal Gear Solid 4, Guns of the Patriots. Oh, so this is what we saw. Yes. Okay. What do you think happened in this game? In, in this game, an old man would not die. <laughs> he just kept going. <laughs> not the Easter Bunny. The Energizer Bunny. <laughs> he just wouldn't go away. I'm like, surely he's going to die now. He's on his knees as a decrepit old man. Nope, he's got to keep going. Oh, this time he actually fell over on his back. No, he needs that cigar. No, the cigar fell out, though. He's got the cigar back. The cigar fell out. Like, oh, no, he made the, he made the death rattle. Ah, like dying, dying. And then like, well, he's, he's done for sure. Then he kept talking. He kept talking. And what he was talking about, I didn't want him to keep talking about it. <laughs> the proxy AI. The, the zero star hundreds. <laughs> you're a zero, but not really. Everyone thinks you're a one, but you can't be a one. Because if you're one, you're something. We can't eliminate something. We can only make it nothing. So I made you zero. And then I made zero nothing. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> and four years later, Metal Gear Solid Revengeance. <laughs> oh, the best one. You know what happened in Revengeance? Think of anything you want to happen. And that's what happened in Revengeance, because it's the best one. Shout out to my boy Revengeance. <laughs> the best of the lot. I don't even care about all the other poses that came before. Revengeance, man. That'd be a great name for like a Punisher movie. Like, Punisher Revengeance. Revengeance. That's just like, it's such a great name. <laughs> it's a fantastic name. Like, yeah. Uh, like I said, the classic thing is always like Boogaloo. Electric Boogaloo, right? Number two. But no, Revengeance. Come on. Or the 90s, it was like everything was like Resurrection. And we in Resurrection. <laughs> resurrection, that's right, if it came back. The Resurrection era. Yeah, all in all, has this convinced <laughs> you to play Metal Gear? I mean, I might play it. But I'm only going to play it because I, I generally like doing stealthy games anyways. And this one is kind of something that's interesting because the stealth is kind of one of the key mechanics of it. Oh, yeah. This had nothing to do with it, though. If anything, this makes me want to lie down and do nothing <laughs> <laughs> just think about how much things really matter anymore <laughs> you know. do you think you would have been more or less confused if we watched the full hour 15 minutes in a <laughs> feel like it was a downward spiral <laughs> and i discovered pits of the earth i did not think were possible before i'm like surely it will end and i will reach the core but no as the war went on, the lower and lower it got. You watched a man die for 30 minutes on the whole time. Stop talking to himself, technically. Yeah. He's talking to himself. His clone son, who has an accelerated age, so he's... His just, clone brother yeah. son. You're my brother son, but not really, because you're a clone. There was also a clone army. Like in Star Wars, yeah, I I saw that movie. And then I think nothing. I think that was Metal Gear Solid One, and then they just never talked about them again. No, we don't bring them, we don't bring those guys <laughs> up. No, I'm sorry, sorry. Oh, you guys, what? I'm sorry. You wanted to talk about the Clone Army? <laughs> I just remembered I got this thing I got to do. I got to go. Well, I hope you enjoyed Metal Gear. That just, I mean, like as a fan, it's like okay, you understand a lot, but. <laughs> As someone who hasn't played the games and you watch that, <laughs> that was, I think, how people would react. It's just, I tried. I tried my best, <laughs> but I couldn't get past the hip hop. <laughs> so, hip hop, before we go, if you could, let's just say, so that was about 30 minutes. Mm -hmm. Can you wrap up those 30 minutes in 30 seconds? Wrap up the 30 minutes in 30 seconds. Uh, Kafka esque mind pain. <laughs> Metal Gear. <laughs> Tune in next time for Revengeance. <laughs> revengeance. Metal Gear, Revengeance, Revengeance.